So for our clients that are using integrated EDR, it's quite simple. We'll come to the EDR policies section, create the appropriate policy for that particular company or client that we're working with, update any of the settings that we would need to update inside our policy, blacklist exclusions, network or device control as necessary. And then once we have that policy created, we'll come to settings, choose the place inside our hierarchy by machine type that we would like to go and turn EDR on at, right? And that will, for all existing machines inside the RMM deploy EDR. And then when a new machine is deployed at that client site, um, client or site, integrated EDR will automatically deploy. Standalone, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit more complicated, though we do have a method for automatic installation. And if you guys note, um, I did pull the uh, uh, automation manager up before uh, starting this particular uh, 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 this particular um, section. So when we look at automatic deployment of EDR inside the RMM, we'll start either with PowerShell or with the automation manager, does EDR exist? And we're going to need to make ourselves a scripted check for EDR existing. So we will need to look for application and is an application installed. So just a very, very simple, hey, is Sentinel-1, because that's what the agent is going to show up as, installed on our devices. So here we find a machine that has EDR installed on it. We come down to our assets software. We see it's called the Sentinel agent. So we'll come back to our automation manager find our application name, and then we'll just go ahead and we will uh, save those changes. And we will just quickly save this on our device. All right, once we have that completed, what we'll be looking at doing is utilizing monitoring templates. So we have our check created. Very, very simple is this application there, right? And then we have our standalone installation script, okay? So uh, what we will do is we will take that check, add it to a monitoring template, and then take that installation script for standalone EDR and have it in the template as well. And when we set up the script for installation, we will have it run on check failure, which covers about half of our uh, uh, monitoring template problem. The other half is, well, if we're installing a monitoring template upon installation of a device, we need to have some more items in there because that's going to circumvent the check detection scan which we probably don't run running anyway because it finds a lot of useful stuff, but that is neither here nor there. What we'll do is let's get our check first off inside our dashboard. So we will come to script manager. To add our script, we'll come to new. We will call this EDR exists, question mark. Give it a description come in as a scripted check. We'll do this for Windows devices because that's what our AMP or AMP uh, uh, automation manager policies work on. We'll save that and then we'll close out here. Okay, we will note coming back to the script manager really, really quickly. I already have a Sentinel-1 or EDR deployment script in here, so I don't need to load that. All right, uh, the installation script can be found inside the automation 
cookbook. All right, so let's take this uh, company three server here as my example device. So I've got my script loaded in the dashboard for the check and for the installation task. Now I need to tackle the monitoring templates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my existing devices that I have audited and optimized. I've removed the fluff from this particular device in regards to checks and tasks. It has what I would consider to be my general server or my general workstation set that I would like everybody to have. And if EDR is my preferred uh, uh, security tool over, say, Bitdefender, I'm definitely going to look at adding this to my basic template. So what I can do at the creation of this template is right click, come into monitoring templates. We're going to create a monitoring template, including our checks and our tasks, and we'll click next here and we'll give it a good little name. All right. When I'm here, I can control my check frequency and my daily safety check runtime uh, to update this as I would need. And then I can come in and I can look at adding. We'll do a daily safety check. My does EDR exist check. And I'm doing this as a daily safety check because let's be honest, I don't need this to run but more than once a day. Okay, I don't need this on a 24 seven schedule, right? Then I'll come in, I see my script timeout will give me 120 seconds. That should be appropriate for the vast majority of checks that we are going to be running. So come in and click finish. Then behind that, we're gonna come in we're going to come to add automated task and we are going to search for my S1 deployment. Come in, click next, enter my descriptive name, so EDR deployment. Take my site token from standalone EDR, which we can go as Xs, okay? or leave this blank. But remember, we're looking at doing this for individual clients. So we will want to have our site token added. Okay, come in, we will go on check failure. We will come down to our script checks. We will come down to our script check names. And here we are, EDR exists. So come in, click next. I like an execution time of about an hour. Let's be honest, if it takes more than an hour to install EDR or Sentinel-1, depending on how we know it, I've got problems that are larger than this script timing out. So we'll click Finish. And now I have these loaded. Script check, installation check on that particular device. We'll go ahead, click OK, and we will save our monitoring template. Okay. Now. Something I briefly brushed over there that should be mentioned. We have to have the client set up inside standalone EDR because we have to pull that site token. So in my case, where I left this as an X, we can come in here. Let's log in real quick. Perfect. All right, so I can come here come to say company three as an example come to my site info for company three and i see my site token so we'll go ahead we'll copy that to the clipboard we will get jump back into the rmm come to settings monitoring template manage templates here is my office hours. Let's rename this company three for office hours. We'll go into our deployment, double click so we can edit and replace our site token. All right, so now we've got our template made for company three, right? Because we have pulled from the site inside EDR. If we need to create a new site inside EDR, we can come back to our global level 
and we can look at creating a site quite quickly and moving forward. Okay. If we need more information on that, we can definitely broach that topic as well as a follow-up in just a second. Once we have our template created, what we will do is we will come to new device installation settings. We will look at our server settings for company three. We will turn it on and we will snap our new monitoring template here. Once we add that template, we can double check at company three by going to edit client. Oops, nope, my apologies. Cancel. We will go to edit site. That is what we need. And we see our default Windows Server monitoring template here. Company three for office hours. All right. So what that gives us for at least EDR and these devices is it gives us quite a nice monitoring template that's going to standardize checks and tasks upon installation, which is always nice. And then what it's also going to do is for our Windows servers, right? It's going to go in, see if EDR is there. If it is not, it will go and do that install utilizing the proper site token. Now, a couple things that we do need to be aware of when we are looking at this. First, if we make any changes to EDR, like regenerating that site token, we need to update our script, okay? And we'll do that inside the template, okay? The other thing that we need to be aware of is that if we transition to a new AV, we transition away from every machine at company three having EDR for some reason, we do need to be aware that that's in our template and make appropriate adjustments where you could say, go in and make a template just for the installation of EDR and say at a company site or machine level, you could quickly apply that template as necessary. So uh, nitty gritty answer there for a fun way to look at doing installation of EDR upon installation of the RMM. Um, but that should also be leading us to, OK, that means I can now look at uh, uh, doing installation of some other items or taking this, this theory and applying it to say QuickBooks, right? Or applying it to say, um, you know, any any other standalone product, right? Backup and recover, or Cove data protection could be one, right? Um, any of the third party tools that you folks are using, take control standalone, if we happen to, to use that in conjunction with the RMM, right? The, the world's your oyster here. Okay, hey, um, so a fun one.